That's not what happened at the end of this movie. Listen, <laughs> give that type of thought to these youngsters right yeah. now. Yeah. We talk to mass chaos and confusion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Unstoppable. Because it's like, again, it's it's about how they perceive it. They could not even really get the message all the way. They could just look at it and just, you know, how you skim through a book and be like, I know what it's talking about. Yeah. They'll do that. But you really shit. don't. All they get from this shit is, hey, man, we need to go break into the uh, the army base and go steal the, a crate full of AK. And <laughs> right. Oh, <I'm> yeah. <laughs> now, you know, what's crazy was like he. He worked for the CIA for five years in the copy room, took all that punishment. Uh, I would say more uh, mental abuse because nobody really never did nothing to him. He left, went to Chicago. He told him he was going to Chicago to help black people which should have been a positive. The director still told his crony, we got to watch him, keep surveillance on him. That's fucked up, bro. He been your slave for five years, a good slave, tells you he's going to teach the black people how to be good slaves, and you still don't trust him. <laughs> he was like, oh, we got we to gotta keep eye, eye on him. That stems from you slip past us the first time, you motherfucker. <laughs> That's a we- good point. Now it's just like hoop. Now you made the scouting report, right? You had that good game. You put fifty. You put fifty on the board. We, we talk, watching you. Yeah, now. we talking about you, like Ant, <laughs> like Ant Man. You went and did that, even, right? Even Dallas, like y'all. Oh no, gotta it watch. Won't, it. it won't be like that. Yeah, next yeah, year. yeah. <laughs> New scouting report. <laughs> <laughs> so now the next scene, they at the pool hall. He is. He's at the pool hall. Uh, playing solo by itself, and with a uh, pretty Willie and uh Dean comes in there, and they kind of like check him, like you can't be on our table, blah blah blah, and he just like gotta leave, you gotta worker. leave, whatever. And say yeah, they called him a social, which means they was kind of up on who he was and what right. he was trying to do, and he basically like, no, nah, I'm not going nowhere. I want to say he brought up, let's take this to the alley. Yeah, and it was, and the white dude was like, "No, you need to go that way out the front door." He's like, "Nah, we need to go to the alley." He put the stick down. He walks out there, but he immediately gets in a fighting stance behind. Him. He tucks, gets down. He ready to whoop three motherfuckers' asses right then and there. They walk out. He kicks their ass by himself. Pulls a gun on the last dude, and on the last dude, he was like, "The last dude start talking shit like, oh, you ain't fight, you ain't fighting fair next time.'" When we got a gun, we'll yeah. see. You got your piece. We go have our piece. Next yeah. Time. So this is kind of where it the the pivot changes because he says, instead of y'all out here doing all this wild shit, basically, I can teach you how to do what you need to do to take over the government, basically. And you seen what I just did to you three motherfuckers. Easily. I could have killed all three of y'all in the alley. Could have murdered them in the alley. Nobody would even care because nobody came outside to help them. <laughs> The pool hall was full of people. Them three dudes could have been stomping his head in. Nobody came outside to see what had happened. It's crazy that nobody went out. Well, he did He did it real slick. So I was about to say, because nowadays, you know, motherfuckers would have been out there just to put their phones up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Yeah. Nowadays, yeah, they've been putting their phones up. But sure. again, it, I like the whole shit down to the name, the the of the character Daniel Free Van. He proved to show humbleness when he needed to. He stayed focused and he was strategic about the shit because he had to know what pool hall to go to. That's true. That's a good point. You had to know what pool hall to go to. What table is they table? Yeah. What you're saying is he had this plan all the way from the beginning. Absolutely. Cause think That's about deep. cause think about it. He walked it all the way down. That's from, deep. Okay, saying like you have to think at what point did he say in his personal life, I'm gonna be a CIA and like and know that's the way to go. You know what I mean? How did you know that they were even hiring black people? You know what I'm saying? And then for you to be a fucking like third degree black belt and they don't even fucking know that. Right. You come in there and beat the motherfucking instructor ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because he trying to bully him. You know what I mean? Yeah. We don't like your kind. 
He straight up told him that too. Yeah, we don't like your kind. And and when and when he graduated, that was the dude that was on the side. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And so it's just like so for him to get his black belt, go for the CIA shit, humble himself, work in the mail room, quit that, Faye go be a social worker, go to the motherfucking pool hall and be on the table. You know what I mean? It, that's yeah. a lot of motherfucking that's a lot of moves. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of studying. A lot of chess moves. Yeah, it's a lot, <laughs> a lot of, lot of studying. chess. Moves. Yeah, you 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 doing your due diligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, and and for it to be work 